Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name's Saga and I did graduate with a degree in aerospace engineering, but now I work as a software engineer in London. And a question I've been regularly asked on my YouTube channel and TikTok and even in real life is that, do you regret studying aerospace engineering now that you have gone into the software and tech field? The short answer to this is, well, no. Now, let me explain to you why this is. Firstly, I'm gonna take you through all the things I learned whilst doing my aerospace engineering degree. Firstly, the most obvious, as you can expect, is that I learned aerospace engineering theory. In addition to this, simply just being in the aerospace engineering sort of environment, I got to understand more of the aviation, the space, and the defense industry as a whole, purely because you're going to be meeting the types of individuals working in that industry and are also going to keep yourself aware of the career markets involved in that sort of area. In addition, because I used LinkedIn a lot, um, I followed pretty much a lot of aerospace and space companies and that, therefore I got a good understanding of that industry as a whole. Since aerospace engineering is a hard tech engineering discipline, as you already probably know, you're going to be learning a lot of hands-on skills and how to build things that are physical in the real world. If you do get yourself involved in engineering student teams at university, you really do get a good skill set and experience on how to make physical engineering objects and so on. When it comes to building and designing physical things, you would already have some decent amount of experience on how to best approach this. The last two main skills I learned while studying aerospace engineering was how to perform a root cause analysis to really find the true problem to a certain situation and also being very analytical when it comes to problem solving. These being analytical and problem solving skills can be learned through any engineering discipline. However, I believe that in aerospace engineering, it is slightly trickier because aerospace engineering in general is a very multidisciplinary engineering degree because you have to consider things to do with electrical, mechanical, and fluid dynamics and just a whole host of various different areas uh, when it comes to solving a problem or understanding a problem. So how many of these skills are actually relevant and useful to me now as a software engineer? Being analytical when problem solving and having a good idea of how to perform root cause analysis is a highly beneficial skill as a software engineer. In industry, writing software is drastically different to writing a piece of code at home on your own because in industry, there are hundreds of developers contributing to the same piece of code and the code base is massive. There are so many different files and so many different ways that each bit of code is interconnected with another piece of code. So it's good to be able to understand the whole code base but then also be able to try and find the root cause of a problem which might not be obvious when you first look at the problem. So as I said, these skills I have acquired of problem solving have been pretty much directly beneficial to me as a software engineer. And truthfully, the other skills I did learn during my degree have not been directly beneficial to the work that I'm doing right now, primarily because I'm not writing code for anything that is going to be built in the physical world nor am I actually working within the aerospace sector as a software engineer. Okay, okay, so now I've covered basically what I learned while studying aerospace engineering and how much of that I actually use in my day-to-day -day work as a software engineer. And as you can see, I don't really use a lot of the things that I did learn during my time at university as a software engineer. So maybe you do question, well, why don't you actually regret studying aerospace engineering? Would you have not rather studied software engineering? Well, the thing is, having spent four years within the sort of hard tech engineering field, and now I'm learning how to write software, I will be able to have a good understanding of how to build both software and hardware things, because when it comes to problem solving, you never really know what skills are required. And for example, if you're going about your daily life and you're like, huh, wouldn't this be better if, and if it requires a software solution or a hardware, hardware solution, I will have a decent understanding of both to try and attempt to solve that problem. And ultimately, if you have a diverse set of problem solving skills, then you have a really good chance of being able to make a lot of money for yourself whilst also solving a really important problem for people around you. And pretty much this is how a lot of companies start. A lot of companies begin their days by 
hacking away at a problem and trying to fix it and then end up selling it to other people who have the same problem. So I guess ultimately my skills both in the hard tech engineering space and the software engineering space would give me a reasonably good chance at starting a company in the future. Another reason why I don't regret studying aerospace engineering is because it is actually probably harder to study aerospace engineering outside of university compared to studying software engineering outside of university. This is because there is such a high barrier to entry if you do want to bootstrap your way into understanding and learning aerospace engineering. And ultimately, if you do want to get hands-on experience of building physical things outside of university, you're going to have to have a lot of space because you're gonna to have to somehow fit a lot of these machineries like um, laser cutters, um, 3D printers, um, water jet cutters, and so on. You're gonna to have to basically have a lot of room wherever you live to house all these machines. And that's not even considering some of these machines cost tens of thousands of pounds. So it's very unlikely, unless you got rich parents, which, well, I didn't, um, that you're able to afford all this equipment to learn aerospace engineering yourself. The last reason why I don't regret studying aerospace engineering is because, well, I really enjoy like learning about planes and rockets and I think they're so cool. Um, I mean, I always like when I'm working at home, sometimes I just look out of the window and I look at a plane and stuff like that. And, you know, I do have a genuine passion for aerospace and space because I don't know, it's just been a, a childhood passion of mine. Um, and it's not to say that, you know, I don't want to go into the aerospace sector in the future, but I think what I learned doing my degree is I didn't enjoy some of the technical work associated to aerospace engineering. I actually enjoy writing code over doing CFD, um, but maybe that was because I spent a lot of time doing CFD during my dissertation, which was really tricky. Um, so who knows, maybe I will go into the aerospace sector later, but um, at the moment I do see myself staying with software engineering. And honestly, um, I think you'd all agree it's kind of a flex saying that you studied aerospace engineering and got a first class in it because, well, it is one of the hardest well, degrees in general to study at university. So to put it in short, well, I don't regret studying aerospace engineering and I think it was a great experience of four years and definitely something, well, yeah, I mean, definitely something I'll remember for the rest of my life because it was super fun, also difficult, but then also like very interesting because, you know, who doesn't want to learn about cool rockets and planes and stuff? But I do think it's important to say that regardless of what degree you do and if you even end up going into the same industry as your degree, a lot of the stuff you do learn at university doesn't often get you know, used when you actually work in industry. So that's something to bear in mind. And you, know, you shouldn't regret, I think, choosing a specific degree because there's always something you would have learned from that degree that you can apply to your new role and your new industry if you decide to change industry like I have. Thanks for watching this video. And if you do want to see what I get up to in an average day as a software engineer, then do check out this link over here. I think, I think it'll appear this side or this side, but it'll appear somewhere here. Anyway, have a nice day. See you around.